I, I would like to also state that this is a, a, a private building that was, and the art was um, funded by private dollars, so it is on uh, private property, um, and the art was, installation was approved by the Historic District Commission, just so everyone is aware of. Is there anyone else from the public? Uh, Mr. Bailey. Please state your name and uh, address, please. Terrence Bailey, 4330 Old Trap Road, Trap Road. Uh, the issues that, that, we, that we as a family have with the, uh, with the, the mural, I, I was waking out of my bed by one of our elders, actually, the uh, vice chair of our nonprofit. And his words was, why is Uncle Frederick on that wall looking like a thug. So I had to go look and see what he was talking about. Um, I had somebody, somebody say that it's something that, you know, that the young people can a, aspire to. And I, and, I, and I responded to that. These are the same young boys that we're trying to get to pull their pants up, let alone be, you know, squatting in that fashion with a big old watch and this and the other. They say, well, you know, it's, it's trying to relate with the hip-hop culture. Like, do you listen to hip-hop? Have you listened to it recently? You think Frederick Douglass was a part of the, the, the suffrage movement for women? Would he be out here uh, listening to music and bobbing his head to them calling females derogatory names? Yeah. I, don't, I don't think so, not at all. That, is, um, that picture does not look like the ambassador to Haiti. It does not look like the recorder of deeds. It does not look like a U.S. Marshal. does not look like the man who sat with Abraham Lincoln and got and convinced him to let blacks fight for their own freedom with the 54th Massachusetts. That doesn't represent that. And the thing about it, the thing that really makes us upset, is that even though Frederick Douglass is in the public domain, in Talbot County, he's a family name. Talbot County is not like everywhere else. He has hundreds of family members here. So when you, when you do stuff like that, not you, but when stuff like that is done, just because you can. Oh, he's in the public domain. You know, he belongs to everybody. Well, he does, but this, these things have to be done with tact, taste, and respect. He has family here. And my elders don't want to see that. They don't want to see that crap. And I don't either. And I wouldn't, if, if I had a son young enough, I would not want my son seeing that, trying to, trying to aspire to that. So let me ask you a question. If they put a woman up there with Frederick Douglass in that portrait, and she had to dress to match him, how would she be dressed? Who would the woman be? See, the stuff like this, you have to, you have to nip it in the bud because it's a greater, it's a, it's a larger discussion. Because if, if they take license with Frederick Douglass like this, then next to would be Harriet Tubman and, 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 and some Daisy Dukes on a mirror? No, I'm serious. You know, you're the old saying, you give an inch, you take a mile, give them a rope, you think they're a cowboy? Stuff like this has to be stopped before it gets going. And so that, I mean, that's, that's all I got to say. There's no, and then to profit off of it, to sell shirts and stuff like that. And, oh, it's for, it's, it's, well, as a family, we don't, we don't care what it's for. It needs to come down because it shouldn't, whoever the guy is, wherever he's from, maybe that's okay where he lives, but it's not appropriate here, not in Tulsa County. Thank you. Thank you, sir.